Hi, welcome to the You Are Home Live tour of Holcomb Hall. My name is Matea Jones, and with us today is... Hi, my name is Courtney Soulsby. Um, I'm a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm about to start my sophomore year as a nursing major, and I'm actually from Fayetteville, so feel free to ask me any questions today as we go through Futural. Um, yeah, so you can ask me anything about Fayetteville or the university, and I'll be behind the camera, so please do comment and let us know anything that you want us to answer for you guys. And like I said, I'm Matea Jones. I'm also a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm going to be a senior. I'm a food science major, and yeah, I'm glad you guys are here with us today. Um, so we're going to be touring Future Hall, like we said, and so yeah, it's a really in a great spot on campus. You're so close to like the library, the union. Um, you're also right across the street from the Pat Walker Health Center mm -hmm. and then Northwest Quad. So you're real close to a lot of great things on campus. Um, the bookstore is also very close, so it'll be great for when school starts. You can run across the street, go get your books, and run back. You don't have to lug them across campus like other people have to do. But yeah, um, I will walk towards the building now. Um, let us know like where you guys are from, if you have any questions. Um, if you're Texas, hey y'all. Uh, <laughs> if you're not, that's fine too. But we're gonna start out here with the patio. It's a really great space for like the summer and then towards the spring to hang out, do some homework. We have Wi-Fi across campus, so you're still able to do some work outside. So it's great when it's a nice day to come out and get out of your room, get out of the buildings, and just work outside. Good place to study when it's warm out. Yes. Um, I guess now we'll go inside the building. Uh, Pamela says hello. Hey, Pamela. Hi. Thanks Hi. for watching. Hi. Yes. And so we can talk about this right here. So each building comes equipped with a FOB security system, which means that you have to live in that building in order to get into the building. So if you have guests that want to come see you or people you want to visit, you have to come get them from this area to, in order to get them into the building. It keeps you safe, keeps everyone on the campus safe, and it's a really great system, especially on nights that are really dark and like you're not really sure what's happening outside. At least you know inside the building, you are safe. So this is the front desk of Future Hall. It's where you'll have an RA on duty as well as um, a desk admin. And so you can ask your questions here. Um, but yeah, so you can get your mail here, but your packages are going to be in the Northwest Quad. Um, that's where your packages will go, but your mail will come here. Right. So if you have a big package that can't fit in it, you'll just have to walk across the street to go get that. But you can check out different materials from here, like ping pong, a pool, uh, movies, games. You can get that here, like at night. All you have to have is your student ID, uh, which is really nice. As we tour, you might see some people uh, living here. It's because right now we're hosting some summer conferences. In particular, we're doing um, Upward, Upward Bound. Bound. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you'll get emails when you have packages, so you'll know when to pick those up. Yes, you will. So we're going to move into the more common spaces of the building. So the future comes with a lot of classrooms and great study, study spaces to hang out, to your friends. So this is a great study space, a group space if you have a big group project going on. You can come in here. There are lots of outlets, a whiteboard, good seating. So you can get all your work done in here. It's a great place to hang out with your friends at night. There's a whole piano and everything. <laughs> so if you're musically inclined, like I'm not. Can you play? Um, I actually cannot. I tried. I had piano <laughs> lessons as a kid, and then they let me quit. So I'm not, you know, uh, I can't. <laughs> I think I learned how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, and then I quit. So. so thank you. <laughs> yes, that's my kind of skill level here. We had a question about whether or not we offer PhD scholarships in chemical engineering. That's a very specific question, uh, an important question. It's very a very specific. important question. Uh, that 
that be a question, I think, for this treasury office? Yeah, yeah. we'll follow up with you in the comments yes. on the best we'll person to information. Be able to <laughs> It's a good question, though. Scholarships are very important. So, Petrol is known for, have, for winning. So, they have a lot of trophies, a lot of things that they've accomplished over the years. So, this is their giant trophy case of all their things. So, if you're here, you're part of a winning team. So, we'll move into some more. There's some more couches and places to sit. A nice big TV. You can watch a game on. You can, like you said, check out movies from the front desk and, you know, watch a movie in here with your friends at night. Mm -hmm. Really good spot to hang out. I know I met a lot of people in my common area, so. I know, like, me and my friends always loved to group together, watch the Razorback games, uh, watch movies or big, like, award shows. We'd always group around the big TV and just hang out and be together downstairs. It was always really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so I've lived on campus for the past three years. My first year as a freshman, and then two years as an RA. So I am very used to being on campus, and it's really, it's really not, it's not bad. It's actually the best feeling to be close to everybody and close to all the things on campus. Yeah. So y'all have a really good time. We're gonna head downstairs now and check out the basement where a lot of activities happen. But another thing that the university is really into is our recycling. Uh, we do a recycle mania every year where we compete against the other dorms to figure out who recycles the most on campus. Uh, I think the past three years of Walton Hall has won, but you know, we're all really committed to being sustainable, so it's a great picture. Do you have another size of this hall? Like how many people live here? Um, I believe 195 students. Okay. So we're a good number. So it's not the largest hall, but it's also not the smallest. It's a good size, a good community to get involved in. And you'll meet a lot of great people, a lot of different like areas of like majors and involvement on campus. A lot of the programming that's done here is organized along with Holcomb yes. Hall as well. They're, they're kind of adjoined halls. Um, there's no real like walkway between them, but you'll do a lot of activities with them because their staffs are joined. Um, but yeah, the Holcomb Hall is the t tour that we'll be doing this afternoon at 2 o'clock. So if you guys want to come back and see that, um, that would be great too. But this is the basement. Um, it's a really nice area for group programs, just hanging out with a group of people, studying. It's a big nice bar, you can spread out and do all your homework. And then we have all of our vending machines down here. So vending machines, great. You need a late night snack, everything's closed. Come downstairs, you can use cash, card, Apple Pay, Android Pay, get you a snack, get you a drink, and head back upstairs if you need to. Um, you can notice that there's an inlay on the top of this that yes. says U of A, a Hogs. Mm -hmm. So you know, really into School spirit here, so that's something you all have to get used to. People call the hogs at random times, and just go along with it. That's very true. Yes. You never know when they're going to start calling the you hogs. You never know. <laughs> but if we come around this corner, we'll head into one of the only screening rooms that the residence halls have on campus. I think it's this one, and then Ponce has the other one. So it's a really nice feature. So to come in, we have room for 12 to sit. Uh, they're nice recliners, a nice big TV, there's a DVD player, you know, it's a really a great feature if you, if you live in this building because you can just pop them down here, turn on TV, watch a movie, be with your friends. I know um, lots of like game screenings happen in here, so if you, you know, there's a away game you couldn't make it to, you can just come downstairs, turn on the TV and watch it with your friends. It always gets real crazy, real loud in these rooms, but it's always a great time. So we got Lilo and Stitch, Cars, oh God. and uh, White Chicks. Yes. Those are the three movies that are in here right now. active and going right now. Yeah. It's a really cool space to have. It really is, and y'all are very lucky because not every dorm has this. And so, you know, I got the opportunity that everyone has. I'm a big movie person. Me too. I would definitely use that. All Some the more time. recycling down here. Show sure, the kitchen down there too. Oh yes, we'll go to the kitchen down here. There's a pool table, a ping pong table. Um, that's a skill you'll need to brush up on before you get to college. They're really into it here. Uh, I am not good at it, despite my efforts. 
Would you say pool or ping pong? Ping pong. Okay. Ping pong. I'm not good at it. But here's the kitchen. Um, so you'll have a pool, stove, an oven. Um, a sink, a microwave, and then a full-size fridge and refrigerator. Um, so if you are you know, sick of dining hall food, you can come down to the kitchen. Uh, you can check out materials like pots and pans on the front desk. Come down here, cook yourself a meal, you know, head back upstairs. Um, but yeah, you can, I know we used to have Fiesta Taco Nights uh, with me and my friends. We'd all like, you know, buy ingredients together and come down here and cook a meal and have a like Taco Tuesday. Um, soft taco or crunchy taco? I'm a soft taco person, okay. Okay. but I appreciate a crunchy taco. Okay. <laughs> so, like, um, I used to eat spaghetti tacos as a kid, so we would put that so, stop. in hard what, what is a spaghetti taco? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys ever watch <laughs> iCarly? Like, it was, oh, thing, yeah. it was the thing that they made, like, spaghetti tacos. Oh, okay. My I mom understand. made that for us once. You gotta watch okay. iCarly. Yes, oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> so you just put spaghetti, like, you made spaghetti, and then you put it in a hard taco shell. It's the Why not, right? It's actually really good. Mm, spaghetti um, and tacos are two great things. So. Just combine them. It's a good, great tip. Like nuts and gum. Oh, like you nuts. know? <laughs> you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't like nuts. But, um, yeah, so you can come down here, cook yourself a meal. Um, there's a fridge, so you need to store things. You can just put it in here, make sure to label it, and then clean it out. Because <laughs> everyone shares this in the hall, so you have to be nice to it. Otherwise, it'll get stinky and gross and not nice. Chris said, my 11-year-old daughter's favorite tacos. <laughs> yes, they're so good. Everyone should try them. I love it. But yes. Um, so yeah, great place to be. Cook cookies, be with your friends. <laughs> and we do have a program here called... Uh, coffee the Coffee Pop. House. The Coffee House, yeah. Yes. So they do like a like an open mic show where people can come and do like their special talents. And then you can try coffees from all over like Fayetteville. It's really nice. You'll get into coffee if you're not yet. College will get you into it. Yeah. Uh, so here's our pool table and our ping pong tables over here. You know, people have their own paddles for ping pong now. They have their special paddles. So there are intense competitions here at night. <laughs> get ready for it. Prepare yourself. Yes. There's so, a large collection of board games. Uno, a very popular game. Some friendships have been lost over Uno. <laughs> um, yeah, some more TV spaces. This building has a lot of great common areas to hang out and meet together in. So it's a really great space to get people, introduce yourselves, meet new people, get some study tips, um, and just create groups. Yeah. yeah. Do you all have any study tips? Um, study so early. I would say do don't be like me because I study <laughs> last minute. I like to make big like documents of all the things that I'm studying for like that exam. And I draw pictures, I like make notes like elaborate. I have to make it elaborate in order to oh, make yeah. sure that I look at it. Because if it's just writing, I'm not gonna look at it because what effort was put into that? Yeah. So if you make it elaborate, you're more like invested into it. Mm -hmm. so. so are you digital or are you analog? I'm analog. Uh -huh. Because I put the effort in to write it. So that means I can't just like write it and then throw it into a corner. Yeah. I actually have to read it and look at it again. Because I spent four hours drawing the picture of the human heart. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. That's so something Medical I illustration there. Yeah. When I took anatomy, I used to do that. I used to like draw out the oh limbs gosh, and the things the you bones. have to do for anatomy. <laughs> 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 yes. To study early yeah give yourself study time early. to study is what i would say it's a lot different than high school so it takes some getting used to but group work is really important to like get a group to study together because you can teach each other what you don't know um, nick said a good friend of his lived here last year and had a great time so yes, it's a great we time. love to hear that so there's a bathroom down here for common spaces and then another uh, water fountain and we move this way, we're going to enter the laundry room that's on this floor. So this laundry room is going to come with six dryers and five washing machines. And then there's a folding table, a ice machine, and then a sink. So it's really great. You've already paid for laundry and your housing fees, so you don't have to pay for each like laundry cycle you run. So there's even an app you can download. It's called Laundry Alert, and it will tell you which machines are free, when your laundry is done, when like 
which ones in the building are open. So all you have to do is scan the QR code, um, and then you will know like which machine is open. So yeah, it's a great app. I highly recommend that you download it. I still have it on my phone. I don't even live on campus anymore. <laughs> but it was really useful when you didn't want to lug all your laundry down to a laundry room and find out all the washing machines were taken. That will, that will ruin your day. <laughs> So do it early. Also, it's really nice to do your laundry at weird times. Um, so like if you know you're going to be up studying late, do your laundry then. Because who's doing laundry at 11 o'clock at night? No one but you. Yep. So you have it all open, you don't have to wait or like worry that someone's going to move your laundry. So that's really nice. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Also, if you have a problem with laundry machines, there's a number that you can contact if it's not working. You can also contact your RAs. Um, and the building staff to see if like, it's, you can get it fixed. Yeah. Chandler said, I'm moving to Futural August 11th as a freshman. Welcome. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. Yeah. I'm glad we get to show it to you yes. before you get here. So we'll come outside now and we'll go into the courtyard. We're on the, the west side of the building right now. So this is the courtyard. It's a great outdoor space. You can hang out in. There's some picnic tables, some benches. Um, I guess it's Sorry. it's the security making sure that you close the door because <laughs> we like to feel safe. So doors can't just stay open. Um, but yeah, so you can come out here. You can draw, study, read, um, just hang out. I bet there'll be some programs out here towards the beginning of the school year because it's a nice outdoor space to everyone can be at. We had um, Chris ask pods or liquid soap, like as far as what we allow. Um, you, there's both, but I recommend pods. It's just easier. You don't have to worry about cleanup, and the machines are equipped to deal yeah. with it. Speaking of laundry, um, Sunday evening, good or bad? Depends. Is it a okay. break? Do people just come back from a break? No. Do not try to do laundry yeah. on a Sunday when people just came back from a break. It will be crazy. Um, but a regular Sunday, pretty late, you should be good. Um, it just really depends. But that's why the app is so crucial because you can check. Right. So you don't have to. You don't have to fight people for you it. Don't have to fight. <laughs> don't fight for a launch machine. Just to check the app. Because <laughs> then you can check them all in the building. And there's a closer one or one that's further away but it's open. You can lug your stuff there and then go back to your room, wait it out, yeah. go get your laundry, come back. Yeah, so it's a great outdoor meeting space, especially like if you like to be outside. I know me, I don't like to be outside, but I'm sure there's someone who will enjoy being outside. You could do yoga out here or, you know, like exercise, I'm sure. But there's some resident reserve parking. Yes, right this, there's some resident reserve parking on this other side of this wall. And then from here, you can see the Pat Walker Health Center and then Northwest Quad. So if you're sick or like you're not feeling well, right across the street, go get checked out, um, get on the road back to feeling better. Mm -hmm. And then your dining hall that's closest to you is going to be the Fulbright Dining Hall in Northwest Quad. Again, right across the street. So you're hungry, just walk across the street to eat. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a computer lab in there if you need to get some work done um, and some other common spaces. But you're real close to a lot of good things. Um, so you'll have great access. Yeah, so I guess we can head back inside now and go look at a room and then a bathroom. If you go to Fulbright, try the ice cream. It's yes. great. Ice cream and cookies. Eat it while you can. Eat, but they're delicious. Fulbright also has like an omelet bar in the morning. Oh, so yeah. you should get up in the morning and go eat. It'll be worth it. I wish I did that more. I'm not a morning person. I had a lot of early morning classes, so I was always up. Pretty partial to their soft serve ice cream, especially if you can get the chocolate and vanilla. Oh, mixed together? That's my favorite. Yes. So this is what the hall with the rooms is going to look like. So right here, we have a trash chute. So um, you don't have to bring your trash all the way down the stairs to wherever it's located. You can just bring it to the place on your floor. And then what you do is open it up, put your trash in, 
close it, and they'll go downstairs for you. So no mess, no fuss, really easy. Right. We'll come down here to the bathroom and then go to see a room. Yeah. Anyone have any questions? We do have some requests for measurements once we get into the room. Okay, we can do that for you guys. So, hello? So this is going to be the common bathroom in this building. You're going to have three toilets and then five sinks. And really great mirrors, so you don't have to fight for mirror space. And then if you come over to this side, you'll have a shower. There's four showers in this one. Um, you'll have a little step-in space where you can, you know, get ready. There's some hooks in here. Uh, you know, figure out what you're doing with your life. <laughs> and you can come inside in the shower. It's a really great size shower. It's really big enough. Uh, there's some shelving in there so you can put things up. But yeah. You never run out of hot water, which is a godsend when everyone's trying to shower at the same time. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry that the person before you stole all the hot water from you. So Pamela said she didn't get to hear the, hear the answer to pods or liquid soap. Um, pods and liquid both work. I recommend pods because it's easier to clean up um, and it's just easy to transport. Right. That's what I used to, yeah. but you can always just use either I know. One. I use like liquid um, softener, so you can use both. It's just your preference. Right. Would you prefer you don't use powder? But yes, we prefer no powder. <laughs> Liquid or positive. And there's signs also in um, the laundry room that tells you like what's what's allowed and what's not. Yes. And so these bathrooms also they link from both sides of the hallway, so you'll share with both sides. Um, but I think there's two on each floor. And so you'll there's more than enough. And most times you don't really run into people. Um, recommend like trying not to shower at the same time everyone else is going to want to shower. Um, kind of like weird out your schedule so if you have to shower later or a little bit earlier in the day it'll be worth it but also it's really nice to have common bathrooms because they're cleaned for you and for someone like me who hates cleaning the bathroom that was really nice twice a day clean twice a day for you by a very nice ISA staff you should get to know them they can be your friends I promise <laughs> um, also if you're nice to them they're nice to you there you go, two-way street. Yes. Um, I've, t I've been told that in these traditional bathrooms, these community bathrooms, usually in the first two weeks of class, you'll figure out what other students have yes. similar schedules yeah, to you. Yeah, you guys have like different schedules, so you won't always run into everyone at the same mm -hmm. time because people will have later classes or earlier classes, and so it's really not that bad to figure out like, you're not all gonna be up at, you know, seven o'clock trying to get ready for class. Yeah. So, uh, so we're gonna go into the room now. Room 119. Yes, room 119. Oh. So this is a room a little circle for you guys. Got your bed. Everyone gets a desk. Place to hang your clothes. Yes. And this has a great view of the bookstore next door. So we had a question, are there two dressers and two wardrobes in each room? There are two wardrobes, and then this is one giant dresser. There are six drawers, so you'll share the dresser, but you can have your own drawers. Right, and if you choose to loft your bed, which is something that I did, um, it gives you a lot more space underneath. So if you do want to put in your own set of like plastic drawers for storage, if you need more, you're always um, welcome yes. to do that. Um, and if you go to housing, no, movein.uark.edu, um, there's a, probably a link that can take you to where you can get it lofted. Um, you can do that before you arrive. Well, they can use after. this link, housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it, okay. F-I-X-I-T. Fix it. And you can just request where you want your bed lofted there and um, they will do that for you guys. Yes, they will do it before you arrive so that you don't have to worry about that when you get here. But it also is doable yourself. Uh, I would recommend bringing a rubber mallet to help you with the rungs um, and get some help doing it. Don't do it by yourself. Uh, but it is doable by yourself. But yes, so we're going to, I guess we can measure the beds and the desk now. Yeah. Sure. Oh, we're good. Can you just help? Here, I'll, I'll take care of you. Yeah. 
the whole list. So the bed is going to be, you know, about 80. Yes. 80 by about 36. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the width of the bed. I think this. Let's go ahead and do the other bed too, mm -hmm. because I think this is a this is a 36 by 80 on yes, both some sides. Some rooms have to um, add two different bed sizes, and some don't. Mm -hmm. So this is a 36 by. This is about 75. Okay. So I think it's different based on the door versus the window. This is one of those halls, yeah. Where because yeah. if you if you look at the door right there, you kind of see why it's, we have to do that. It literally would block the door otherwise. So sometimes you have a smaller bed, um, but it's it's not like a problem. So you'll just have to figure out with you and your roommate who is comfortable being in that spot. Um, can we measure the space of the other bed, which we just did? Oh, wall to door jam. Okay. The wall to the door jam. Let's see. Do you want to list that? Oh, okay. We're going for this. Okay. Is the space help? between the beds? Let's give the space between the beds either okay. way. That's a helpful measurement. You see people want that one a lot. Uh, about 91 inches. About 91 inches. And then from here to here, I guess the, the chair would be about the point that you would want. So this is in case you would want to bring like a, a rug. It's about 76, 77 inches. 76, 77 inches. Yes. Okay. And then to door jam. Hmm. Trying to look at what, what that means exactly. Are they asking for the space from this wall into the door? Is um, that what they're asking? No, I don't know. Let's give the, um, the dimensions of that little lip too over there. So the ledge is going to be about 13 inches right there and about 20 inches right here. Okay, okay. Good to know. Yes. Uh, the desk is going to be, I think that's right. 48 inches by... Maybe they want to put up a toaster, that's what I'm thinking. 28. 28 here? 28 by 28. Yeah, let's do a measurement from this corner to... Yeah, I think that's what I was about. Okay. Here, if you want to... You think you can? Yeah. You got it? Yes. Okay. That is 79. Very nice. You can decorate that however you like. Yes. And these walls are kind of cinder block, so it's kind of easy to put things up. Um, you don't have to worry about paint chipping as much. It's still a concern, but every command strip you put up, you have to take down. So be mind, like cognizant of that, because if you chip paint with it, you have to pay for it. So someone asked how high is the bed, and um, I just want to remind you that you can put it wherever you'd like. If you see these notches on the side, I'll try and get close for you. Um, you can choose what notch you would want the bed to be hooked on, which can lift it up or lower it. And there's also an extra piece that we can add right here, which makes it's, it about two times as tall as it is right now. So this is about 36 high. inches. So if you have two of them, that would be a little So um, this is a loft and kit. And so let me, let's put it up here and let them see. So it would be doubly as high. So you can, you do have that option. A lot of people do that and put, um, you know, their desks under their bed or chairs or anything like that. It just depends on how you want to use your space. And someone asked, where would you recommend putting a TV? Um, I the cable would box? The cable box is going to be right here. But again, these, this furniture is movable to an extent. So you can move this I, um, in this room, I would probably move this desk over here and move that chest of drawers over here and put the TV on top of that. But that's just my personal preference because that's just me. Um, someone wants to see inside a wardrobe. So these actually don't have the mirror, which is something that one of them asked. Can you check and see if the other one has one just to see? And these rods are movable so that you can decide like if you want two sets of rows. Okay. 
So there's no mirror, but it looks like there is space to put one if you would like. You could use like the yes, I have mine strips. on the yeah. back of my um, mirror. And there's another drawer down there too. All right. And you can lock these drawers too. You can just bring the lock to put on there and I can lock your closet for you. Yep. You can also put storage boxes and such on top if you want to use that space. But yeah, it's pretty good size. Uh, I know a lot of people ask about microwaves and fridges. Um, they're not necessary to say because you do have a kitchen in this building. So there is a microwave downstairs. There is a fridge downstairs. Um, you can bring it and the recommendations for those like wattages and whatnot are on housing.urf.edu. Uh, if you go to the building, I think it will tell you like what not to bring, what to bring, and so you can figure that out. But you don't have to bring it, but you can. Right, and this is a showroom, so they do not come with the refrigerator yeah. and the microwave, but this is just showing you how you could set it up if you choose to. Another thing is the air conditioning. So this is going to be a building that switches between heating and cooling. So in the warmer months, it's going to be on cool, and the colder months, it's going to be on heat. And the university will let you know when they switch it over, but you cannot change it back once it's been switched. Uh, you can just change the actual temperature in the room, like whether or not the fan is running or not, but you can't change if it's running hot or cold. So that means on a really warm day in December, which occasionally happens, yes. you're probably going to need to get a fan. Or, you know, yes, a fan. You can open your window way. and try to get some air in that way open your door, um, but yes. And if it's cold outside, I would recommend bringing extra blankets. Um, you can't bring space heaters, and you can't bring like heating blankets, because those are fire hazards, but you can bring just extra blankets, right. which is what I would recommend. Yeah. Yeah. So ask us any questions while we're in here. Um, And this particular room is themed towards sustainability. So, you know, water bottles, it's always nice to bring your own water yes, bottle. Yes, we have water bottle filters in all the residence halls. So instead of buying plastic water bottles, you can just refill your water bottle. How wide are the beds from the outside of the bed post to the outside of the other post? Okay. Um, it's gonna be 38 inches. And can we go ahead and do this way as well. So you hold it? Yes. Okay. It's about 85 inches. 83? She was from the outside. Oh, from the outside. Sorry. Yeah. Um, she said, or we had a Cindy ask if the wardrobe has lockable drawers. It yes. does. You have to bring your own um, lock. lock. But if you, choose to. you have a lock, you put it right here. It will lock this drawer so you can put your valuables down here. Right. And there's also that option on this top drawer on your desk. And the place that you can get a um, refrigerator from us, um, you can also get a safe. Yes. Delivered. So it's nice. You got great plugs in here to like plug up where you need to. Um, Ethernet is going to also be in here if you don't want to plug into the Wi Fi. Uh, but there's also a Wi-Fi booster in here, so you should have great Wi-Fi in these rooms. Um, so yes, cable comes included in these rooms, so you'll have HBO if you're into that, and then lots of the cable channels. All you have to do is bring your TV, we provide the cords for you, so you just plug in and you have cable. So that's all of our questions for now. Um, if you guys do come up with any more questions, feel free to comment those after we post this and I will be sure to go through and answer all those for you guys. Yeah. And also when you arrive on campus, your RAs are gonna be great resources for information. Um, your hall um, CREs, which is your coordinator for residence education. So they're gonna have great tools and information for you. Get to know them because they'll be great resources into the future because they're students. They've been here where you are. So if there's not any more questions, I guess we will just sign off. Is there anything you want to tell the upcoming freshmen? Um, Wu Pig Sui, welcome to the University of Arkansas. Um, and just enjoy it. Make the most of your time here because I know I'm, I'm going into my last year and I really have enjoyed all of my years here. Yeah, thank you guys for watching.